The scandal surrounding the downfall of Ipswich City Council continues to plague the Palaszczuk government. The opposition is pushing to know who knew what, forcing the Deputy Premier to clarify how many complaints she received under her watch. Tegan George explains. The Deputy Premier wanted to get on the front foot. Mr Speaker, I rise on a matter of privilege. Fuming over opposition claims, she received 326 complaints about the Ipswich City Council during her time as local government minister. 326 pages of material, all of the material in question, is made up of three separate complaints in total from one single applicant. But the LNP isn't apologising. So we have members of the Labor Party's own backbench that don't believe Jackie Trad. So why should I take Jackie Trad on her word? Ms Trad wants three opposition members referred to the Ethics Committee. These claims made by the opposition are incorrect and misleading. I am advised... Order, order members. This is about corruption in the Labor Party. It shouldn't matter whether there are three complaints, 326 complaints. The LNP thinks it's the Premier who should be sorry. Will the Premier apologise to the people of Ipswich for the government's failure to swiftly act on the multiple warnings it has received? As soon as the Triple C handed down its recommendations, my government is acting swiftly. But even Labor's Joanne Miller has questions. I want to know, given these revelations and the obvious lack of action, whether this amounts to official misconduct or maladministration or worse. She recalls repeatedly warning the government. The Premier denies this. Mr Speaker, someone is lying. Who is it? And if she had any evidence, she knew exactly where the Crime and Corruption Commission was. But with only a small majority, the Premier is reluctant to pull into line the powerful and popular backbencher. As I've said it in, in the past, look, that's, that's Joanne being Joanne. The government did try to get one back at the LNP. Was a conga line of suck holes sucking up to Malcolm Turnbull. A crass comment the Health Minister was forced to withdraw. Tegan George, 10 Eyewitness News.